Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another tarot deck review. So sorry, things have been sparse on my channel lately. Um, things have been crazy, but hopefully they are starting to settle down a little bit over the next week. Um, there will be a November pick a card reading soon. Um, just bear with me. Thank you for your patience. Um, thank you for you know, holding out. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's get into it. Today we are going to look at the Universal Celtic Tarot. This is another Low Scarrow Bio deck. Um, this was $24.95. Um, I'll link all of the places to get it down below. And this is by Florina Nativo and Christina Scagliotti. Hopefully I said that right. Um, I took off all of the wrapping and inside the wrapping so you don't have to see me struggle. Um, but this is, you know, kind of a flimsy packaging, um, you know, your basic uh, card packaging, I guess you would call it. Very much like the um, Tarot of Haunted House, which is another low Scarabio deck. Like I have said in the other ones, I have fallen in love with this publishing um, brand because of how eclectic and kind of just amazing their decks have been that I've gotten. So I was really excited to see this one had come out recently and um, kind of just super excited. Anyway, let's get into it. So it opens up from the top. And um, again, if you're the kind of person that likes to store their deck in the original packaging, this one might get a little binged up and uh, might not last. So just be forewarned. Okay. So this would be the instruction booklet. And again, it's in five different languages because of the publisher. This is out of Italy. So um, those would be the languages for you. And um, so you get uh, the English in the front. And I think you get some spreads in this. But it goes in through um, what each of the cards mean. And I won't go into depth terribly with this, but it has a how to read the card. And I think that's it. I don't think you get any spreads because this is all their languages. So if you're looking for spreads, this is not an instruction booklet for you, but that's okay. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's get into the cards here. So, all right, so we have a flash little title card. Okay, and then another one in the back. Okay, don't need those right now. Alrighty, look at that. That is really pretty. That is the back of the card. That is gorgeous. <clears throat> okay, so the size is pretty nice. It's um, very much like the um, haunted, uh, Tarot of Haunted House size. Very nice in your hands, easy probably to shuffle, I'm assuming, because the other one was as well. So let's get into it. The card stock is pretty decent, actually. I'm not hating it. Um, it is sturdy, but it's got enough give. And there's a little gloss to it, but not too bad. Already loving it. The pictures are great. So this is based um, on Celtic lore, I am assuming. I haven't read the booklet completely. So, um, wow. Beautiful. And there are no borders, except for this little one down here, which holds the title of the card. So um, those of you who hate borders will rejoice. <laughs> you can get fully immersed into these is great. Um, they are doing their own imagery, but it's very similar to um, the Rider Waite Smith deck from what I'm seeing. Similar enough, I wouldn't say it's exact so far. But the art is gorgeous. Very, very well done. The wheel. That's similar. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at the little acorn. So again, we talk about the death card and the devil card that they're not really what they seem to be. And um, again, this is not a terrible um, 
terribly terrifying <laughs> or scary card, which is great because if you're using this for another person who doesn't quite know the ins and outs of tarot, um, it won't completely put them off. You know what I mean? You can gently explain to them what the card means. Um, again, the devil, this is not really a devil. It's, what is it, a giant? So, I mean, you can explain to them the, the meaning behind it so they're not completely scared away. Oh, I love it. Yeah, the images are beautiful. Um, I feel like it's a very positive deck. It seems like it would be a good travel one as well because of the size. It's so pretty. I think this would be a decent deck for beginners too. Um, the imagery is there and I feel like with the instruction booklet, it's going to be very useful. I'll quickly go through these. Um, yeah, I mean, you can use your intuition a lot with this. It's great. The art is gorgeous. I mean, I really can't complain. Yeah, nothing really negative to say here. Um, it's definitely on theme, on point with that. Very, very positive feel. Very, um, I love how when we're looking at the stuff with light that it just pops and it looks like it's actually glowing. It's beautiful. It's very ethereal and magical. Very, very cool. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I'll go really fast here. I just wanted to look and see what their interpretations of the cards are. I really like this one. Resting, I'm assuming troll. That one's beautiful too. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I don't really have anything negative to say. Um, let's see how these shuffle. I think they're gonna probably shuffle really well, yeah. They're really nice. They glide really nice. Um, <laughs> I just have a thing with the low Scarabio decks. They're, I've just been falling in love with them. Um, they're just so different and they don't, they don't feel cookie cutter. They always feel like they have a purpose and um, they always are such, let me get my words together, goodness. They always seem very well thought out. And, um, you know, I love that they're in different languages. There's a, you know, a booklet that has different languages in there. Um, it's very, usually it's very inclusive decks. Um, this one, since it's based on, you know, Celtic lore, there's not a ton of diversity, um, but that's understandable considering, um, you know, the subject matter. But um, I always look for uh, diversity in decks too because it's it's time. <laughs> like I said in the uh, modern witch one, it's very um, tarot is for everyone, and so it's nice to see yourself represented in the decks. Um, but again, considering the subject matter, I understand why this doesn't have that much diversity. So um, not to be on a soapbox, <laughs> but I know. For a lot of you, that's important as well. This is wonderful to shuffle. 
Wow. That is fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So yeah, I don't really have anything negative to say. Um, I want to take a look at some of the definitions here. Let's just pull one. So we have the full, pretty, you know, well-known one. And it says a leprechaun walking on a rainbow, carrying a mushroom on his shoulder. It represents a carefree spirit, the joy of life that makes us follow a path bordering on the risk of fall, but that will give us that touch of madness that will add spice to our everyday life. All right. So they're pretty simple definitions here. Um, so like for the Ace of Cups, Dagda's Cauldron, which generates and gives life. So, I mean, if you're a beginner, it might be a little hard to um, grasp because it's kind of generic. Um, but again, if you fall in love with the deck, you can find other resources for um, the information behind it. Well, hello, Mr. Snoot. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't, oh, he's pulling on. Okay, sorry, dogs. They're crazy now. Ah! <laughs> um, so <laughs> can I have my mic back? Thank you. That's not for you to, okay. So sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> apparently it's playtime. Um, and so, yeah, uh, like I was saying, you can find other resources, books and online and so forth of, um, definitions and meanings. Um, normally the instruction booklet that comes with your personal deck, your, the specific one will have specific meanings for why they um, chose the imagery that they did. So that's exactly what I see in here. Um, but it doesn't, you know, go too far in depth with keywords or um, anything like that. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing this or when you're thinking about purchasing it. Um, other than that, um, you know, if, if you're well versed in it, I feel like this would be a great deck for you as well. Um, it, the imagery is great. It's different, slightly different take on, on some of them. Um, but yeah, the art is beautiful. I feel like you can get the gist of what they mean. And yeah, if you're into, um, Celtic, Celtic mythology, um, paganism, that sort of a thing, I feel like this would sit well with you and this would um, be a great deck. Again, Low Scarabio, I, I always am surprised, but not really, about how well made and um, how just unique they are. So if you have not seen any of my other videos of the Low Scarabio decks, um, go ahead and look at the look through the playlist because um, they're quite interesting. And if there is a tarot deck or oracle deck that you are interested in me opening, unboxing, and reviewing, let me know. Um, check the playlist first to see if I've already done it. And then, um, yeah, let me know down in the comments and I will get my hands on it and do that for you. Uh, if this has helped you or um, if this is something that you liked, let me know down in the comments if this is your cup of tea. And if you have not yet already subscribed to my channel, I do um, tarot deck reviews, pick a card readings, craft videos, you name it. Um, so we would love to have you here. And if you have not yet hit that notification bell, go ahead and do that as well, because again, my upload schedule is non-existent. So this way you'll never miss a video from me. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I will have a lot more content up for you guys soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.